Hey you guys, what up? This is John the Crude Oil Garage. Today we're going to show you how to set up playlists to run on your Harley Davidson infotainment system on your bike. So this is going to work on the infotainment systems on the 2014 to 2019 infotainment systems and then also the new GTS system. So stay tuned. We're going to show you how to put them on the memory stick. And if you watch to the end, I'll show you how to do it from your Android phone as well. That way you only have to use one USB spot on your radio instead of having like a Y adapter or splitter of some sort. But you can plug your phone in, keep it charged, and it'll read from your phone and show you the playlist. So coming up right now. Okay, so right now I've got the bike turned off. We're gonna just pop it on the accessory here. I'm gonna show you that nothing's going on with the stick right now. It doesn't matter what you use. This is a 16 gig. The smaller the better because it's gonna read it faster. 16 gig's still gonna probably hold about 1500 songs unless you're you know, going on a long ass ride. 1600 songs is gonna last you a long time. Uh, four days later when this gets loaded up, I'll show you what's going on. Now these systems, the way they're set up, they're not gonna they're not going to allow you to set up playlists from the bike itself. You're going to have to do it from the computer and I'm going to show you that here in just a sec. So there's nothing on this car to make sure that it's erased. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So you can see there's uh, no playable media in this card here. Um, the card is blank, make sure to blank it out. I've just got it plugged into the USB spot that I rerouted up through this, this side because I like using these short little uh, USB-C cables because it's not going to come out of here. I hate keeping that open. You know, things start falling out of there, so that's that's the way I do it this way. You can use a Y adapter or split or whatever. Route one into here for the memory stick. One on out to your phone to keep it charged if you keep it on a cradle like like I do. Um, so that's the way to do it. And we're going to show you here how to make these playlists because that's what you all tuned in for is how to make playlists because it's not really the easiest straightforward thing to get your bike to read them and when you stay tuned till the end i'm going to show you how to work it from your android phone using the same thing usb cable to keep it charged and connected to your phone you're going to get a lot better audio quality doing it with the direct cable versus through bluetooth too so if you've got a good sound system and you want your music to pop make sure that you use a hardwired connection. Um, and that way, hey, it also keeps your phone charged and stuff as well when you keep it on a cradle just like this. So I'm gonna show you coming up right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're, first things, we're gonna take this little memory stick. It doesn't matter again. This is a 16 gig card. You could use 32 if you want. You could use eight, doesn't matter. Just as long as you have enough space to hold the music you wanna take with you. One of these guys, again, holds about 1,500 songs, depending on the quality that you have it recorded at. The higher the quality, the better the sound. Obviously, it's gonna come out of your bike. So, all you gotta do, take this on over to your computer, okay? My USB side, just stick it in your USB hole, little black hole right here. Some of you guys, use your little thing, find a little hole right there, stick it in, you can hear it pop. It's gonna pop up on the screen. This one, I've got it labeled as Street Glide, whatever. I'm gonna keep it blank, let's do this. Here's the list of my just random music I have here. So what you wanna do first is you want to move the artist that you have from one folder to the next. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first thing is, guys, that you want to do is you want to open up your source music. I have it right here on my left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, here's your memory stick. I've got my name Street Glide. So basically, and this is pretty simple, you're just going to take whatever music you want, let's say yeah, ACDC's classic, you know, motorcycle music, Harley music, guys like to blast that stuff. It'll take a few seconds to copy those guys over. Let's see what else we want. We want some Aerosmith in there. Sure, why not? You know, rock and stuff, all that kind of crap. That all sounds better 
on the bikes anyways because you can't hear a lot of those low frequencies those, those real bass type tones on bikes uh just because they're you know all that gets drowned out by the wind noise the road noise your pipes um you know if you're sitting there farting or something like that you know it's gonna be cut out too let's see what what else do we got let's see if we got some aussie in here i don't i don't know my al alphabet today we're just gonna make it quick and simple again just depending on what kind of music that you have um or how much that you have it's gonna you know take longer or shorter um also if you're downloading and buying music make sure that you're saving it in a location that it's easy to find and download it at the highest highest possible quality that you can you will get the best sound out of that on your infotainment system or your gts system if you got one of the new uh 2020 touring bikes so um simple so far so once you have you know your artist moved over to memory card it's reading right here which is again the one that i have plugged in the computer you're going to want to open up actually you're going to want to download playlist creator and i will drop a link for that in the description i don't know how to do it on mac i'm not a mac guy i'm pretty much anti-apple everything i feel like you get more bang for your buck with the android stuff especially the samsung's but there's a lot of Apple guys out there. Um, but what I will tell you is the iPhones and iPods and iPads, they will put out a better quality audio than the Androids because that's, well, that's what they were originally built for when the, I, when the iPods were originally introduced. They were made as music players. So a lot of that technology has transferred over into the new iPhones. So for those iPhone users, you will get the best audio quality coming out of your iPhone versus what you're, you're getting out of an Android. And another pro tip, it, for those of you um, who are streaming music, like if it's from Pandora or Spotify or Amazon Music or, or Google Play Music, the ones that I found work the best, Amazon Music HD is gonna get you the highest, highest quality audio for streaming. That's if you're streaming it from your phone through Bluetooth into your bike, that's the best one to use. Now the user interface isn't the greatest. I prefer using Spotify. Their interface is a, is a lot better in my opinion. Use whatever you like, but you will notice the difference from Spotify and Amazon Music. Amazon Music will get you a much, much better audio quality. So if you're concerned about that, try using Amazon Music. If you don't care, then use whatever you like. It doesn't matter. Everybody's got their own preference. And at the end of the day, the iPhones, as much as I don't like them, they will absolutely get you better audio quality. So for those of you who have it, those are the ones to use. So let's get back to it right here. The uh, playlist creator links up here. I'm gonna just copy that so I can paste it down here in the description in a second. Just hit download, it'll download, install it, so forth. I've already got it downloaded and installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up on my computer right here. Playlist creator, easy enough. Let's open up my street glide side again here. So this is real simple. So now I've got the playlist creator opened on the left. Here we go. Let's start with ACDC. Um, we like uh, this one here. We're gonna just drag and drop. Now, let me give you a little hint. If for whatever reason you drag and drop something from your memory stick into playlist creator and it says it cannot add it or it doesn't add, there's something you've got to go up in here to the settings. What it's doing is it's looking for specific audio types. And if your audio types are not enabled, so typically you want to use MP3 or M4U. I think that's what these guys are. Yeah, M4A files, sorry. M4A files, those are also audio files. AAC files, if you're downloading from the uh, iTunes store and stuff like that, you want to make sure that your playlist creator is able to do it. So all you do is hit settings, and then make sure you hit file types over here on the left. Mine's already on there because I wanted to make sure it's done. Here's all the active ones. Here's all the, the ones that it'll read. Now, if your file types are not in here, they're gonna be in this side. So all you gotta do is just double click on it and it'll add it to that list. Hit apply or just hit okay and you're done. That way the system will read your audio files correctly. All right, what else do we wanna add? Uh, let's go, yeah, well, sure, why not this guy in here? 
See, look, it's also pulling the, the album artwork over there, Highway to Hell. See, look at that album art. It's going to dump that. The cool thing is it will record your album art in your playlist stuff, and then when you get it back on your bike, that album artwork will show up on your screen as well. So that's a pretty cool feature. All right, yeah, we're done with ACDC. Let's call it uh, Aerosmith. Yeah, let's just go and dream on. Sure, let's dump this guy in here. Now, this does allow you, if, once these are highlighted on this side, if you want to move that up, that's moving it to the beginning, moving it up one. That way you could rearrange your playlist and so forth, see how it's moving up that Dream On. I originally put it at the bottom, now it's the second in line. So, easy enough. That's how you use these buttons here. You guys will figure it out. You're not dum dums. Let's see what else we want. And Get a Grip was a good album back in the old 90s, I guess. Let's just dump one of these in here. Oh, yeah, look at them nipples. Let's see here. Okay. That's uh, Beastie Boys, one of my personal favorites. Uh, Ill Communications always, uh, eh. No, let's go with uh, License Till I prefer. Yeah, uh, let's dump this guy, whoops, she's crafty. So you could also drag and drop them in whatever position that you want. Or once they're already dropped, you can use the arrows to move them up and down and, and yada yada so forth. Or you could use these ad files. I always just find it easiest to have your Windows Explorer open and just drag them and drop them in there. Let's do some Aussie. Why not? Crazy Train, that's a classic. Oh, what the hell? Got it. So, easy enough. Okay. So, make sure you get it back to the, the main root folder on your memory card right here. Mine's labeled Street Glide. Here's the key part. So, now we've got these few songs in here. We want to create the actual playlist. So, down here in Save Selection, you want to hit the little folder icon. You want to go to your bike right here. Street Glide, that's mine. Just leave it. Don't pick any of these. Don't pick any of the artists that you've saved in there. Just click the main root folder. Make sure it's highlighted. Hit OK. That's where it's going to save your playlist file. We want to give that playlist a name so that it will show up on your bike. So I'm going to call this eh, Crude Jams. And then hit boom, bam, create playlist. This is actually pretty quick and you are done. And you can see the little playlist right here. When, if you click on it here, it's not going to do anything, but your bike, your infotainment system or your GTS system will read that playlist, which is pretty cool. Then all you got to do, right click on that uh, drive, hit ejecto, boom, bam, you're done. Pull it out, yada, yada, you got it. Let's head back over to the bike. Okay, dudes, we're back to the bike with the memory card that we just uploaded our, well, I guess copied our music to with the playlist in it. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the bike, pop it on, see what happens. Plug this bad boy in right here. Turn the guy on. Now, now you just wait four days again. Have this do what it's gotta do. Hit accept, you guys know the drill. Go back on over. We're gonna wait for that media light to pop up. There it goes. You can see it's starting to read it. Okay, so these are the artists that we dropped in there, not necessarily what we made from the playlist. It's still reading. It's still going to take a second to to read everything that's on there, and then it'll be able to populate the list here in just a second. So if we hit find, now your options for playlists is showing up. If you didn't have any pl playlist stored on your card, then that's not going to show up at all. And there's the crew jams, the one that we just created. So you can make as many as you want. And all, all it's doing is reading the file. But again, you have to have all of that music stored on your card in order for them, in order for you to be able to make that, that playlist. So let's go ahead and hit crew jams. Okay. Here's the, uh, here's the artist that we, or the songs that we picked. Let's get to it with the Android stuff because these Invotainment systems, they only have one USB port on them. But I guess you could use a splitter and then still plug your phone in, whether it's an iPhone or an Android. And you could still plug in a memory card, it'll read both at the same time. That's if you're using like a Y adapter. But I'm gonna show you how to do it on the Android phones that have the SD card slot in them. That way they're readable while your phone's plugged in, it's charging, you could use your maps, whatever, and it's still gonna read all your music from the SD card and also these playlists that you create. That way you only have to use one USB spot and you could use, again, one of the little six inch 
cables to do it. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, dudes, I've got a Galaxy S10 Plus. This is gonna work on pretty much any of the Android phones that take an SD card. First thing you gotta do is turn your phone off, get yourself a paper clip or however you remove your memory card in your phone. This particular S10 Plus got a little hole in the top. I just use a paper clip, push it in there, a little tray. See that little tray right there? It's gonna pop out. You need to take that memory card out, just like that. Okay, see it? A little micro SD. Get yourself a little USB adapter. Pop it in there. Boom, bam. We're gonna put it in the computer just the same way we did the other one. Okay, so you followed along. You got the other one done. Now this is acting like a regular memory stick, USB stick that you can plug into your bike. Got it? So we're gonna head back over to the computer. Okay, now that you're back in your um, playlist creator here on the left, you've got your source music on the right. This is the name of my SD card that I took out of my phone. You wanna head over into your music folder or wherever you got your music saved. And again, you just wanna pick um, just whatever random music you want to go in that playlist. Let's see, uh, Chili Peppers is one of my all time favorites. Come on, what the hell? Let's add all these, why not? All right, let's just make it simple, okay? Your save, again, your save location, we want it in the main folder here, and then we're gonna dump it in the music folder because that's what it is, it's music, right? And then we're just gonna call it phone playlist and then hit boom bam create playlist ejecto boom bam and pull it out then we'll put that card back into the phone okay we just made our little playlist for our little sd card this is going to go back into your phone right into the little tray if you got one of these s10 pluses if you got something else just However you take your SD card out and put it back in, that's all you gotta do. Turn it back on, let that bad boy fire up. So you remember what we called it? We called it phone playlist. So we're gonna see it if it pops up there on the bike when we plug just the phone in. There's not gonna be any SD card plugged in there because there's not gonna be room for it. Now there might be a way to do it on your iPhones. I don't know, there probably is. Again, I don't know how to do it because I don't have an iPhone. I'm not real familiar with them, but this is how you do it. If you want to do it on Android, I mean, these store a lot of stuff. This this particular phone, I believe, will hold a five, 512 gig SD card, which is going to be uh, pretty damn near a shit ton more music if you want to do it that way. All right, cool. We're good to go. Phone's back on. Let's go back to the bike. Okay, dudes, we are back here at the bike with the phone plugged in with the USB-C cable right into the USB port that goes to the back of your Invotainment system, and I'm going to show you. That's that little SD card that we took out of the phone, put it in the computer, um, saved our music, created a playlist, stuffed it back into the phone, plugged it into the bike, turned the bike on, let it take four and a half weeks for delivery, and now we are ready to go. So if it takes a long time on your bike, it's definitely working. Just be patient, especially if you've got a shit ton of music on there, uh, it's gonna take longer um, for, for it to read it. So here's what we gotta do, we're gonna go and hit the media button. Actually, so if you're in the home screen, whatever, hit the home button, hit your media button. Let me zoom in here. Pick your phone right here. Hit find. Now you got your artists, your album songs, genres, and you can see right there, playlist. You remember what we named ours? We named it the phone playlist. Hit playlist. There it is, phone playlist right there. So this is coming from your phone that's plugged in to the USB port on your bike. Pick whatever you want. See, mine weren't named properly with the artist in the album. Let's go back here. Go back to the playlist. Phone playlist. Now, you, again, you create many of them depending on what you want to listen to. Now, these these will also do the album artwork if you've got them saved correctly or if you purchased them. 
they're gonna have all that metadata already built up. See, this one's got it in there too, the, the album art. So that's how you do it with your phone, with your phone from the Android phone. Again, I don't know how to do it from the Apples because I just don't use Apple phones, but uh, it's just the one little simple cable right here plugged into your USB port. That way your phone will still charge. You could still have Bluetooth, other stuff. So I could go here if I want to go to media. Here's my phone in the Bluetooth version if I want to do that. My Bluetooth isn't turned on on the phone, so it's not going to find it. So cancel that. Um, but that's how you switch, and that way you have two, two input selections on your USB port. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let's turn that down a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please hit your uh, thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel for some more informational videos. This doesn't cost you anything. I just like doing it because I like helping my brothers out. Um, easy enough. But please subscribe to the Crude Oil Station here. Like it if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, but I'm sure you will. So hopefully this helps you out. Please leave me some comments if you got any questions or concerns or just some crude jokes. I like that too. So thanks again for watching. We'll get you on the next one.